What's lacking in our community, in my immediate area, was a, a resource, a place where kids can go and feel safe and a learning center, basically. You did it, and it was musical. Like the opening of Beethoven's Fifth. A place to channel some of that, that energy. Double jab right hand. Double jab right hand. Double jab right hand, pull back. I didn't have that growing up, so for me, once I got older and I had the money and I had the resources, and I saw kids going down the same road that I was going down, I figured, hey, why not do it myself? Why not open one? I don't have to wait on the city. I don't have to wait on the state. I don't have to wait on some rich guy somewhere to do it. I just come in and do it myself, and that's what I did. So what Collie Sweeney did was open the downtown Detroit boxing gym, a place that would provide the guidance and sense of family that he didn't have growing up. No one ever tried to motivate me. No one ever tried to find out what was really going on with me in my life. It was always, you're gonna be dead or in jail before you're 21. It was constantly, you're gonna be dead or in jail before you're 21. I kept getting pushed along in school and until I finally decided to just drop out. I dropped out and became a street, a street thug. I mean, because I had no ambition. I had no role models. I had no, no mentors. Hurry up, man, move. Move, man, move. Move, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, man, hurry up, let's go. Man, you moving too slow. If that ball hit me, man, that's the problem. Let's go. I was in school and I was fighting all the time. Nobody knew I couldn't read, so whenever you bring a book to me, I would start a fight. If you bring a book to me, I would just crack a joke, just like I see kids doing today. Boxing helped turn his life around. Now, Collie hopes he can use the sport to give other kids a fighting chance. You need to be there for that kid, and you need to be able to mentor that kid. You don't need to just talk about boxing. You need to talk about life lessons. You need to talk about the ups and downs of life and the trials and tribulations that we all go through. The team is only strong as its weakest link. The team is only as strong as its weakest link. Cully says boxing is the hook to get kids in the door, but he says there are lessons to be learned in the training about commitment and determination, lessons that translate to so many other areas. The first time I started playing was here at the boxing gym, downtown boxing gym, in the piano room in the back. You know, you got guys who discovered music and now playing classical music. You got guys here who discovered a whole new world of, of technology, and those guys are flourishing. Coach Collie's number one rule in the gym is books before boxing. Yes, he say books before boxing because you gotta do your homework, then you can go work out. I read with some tutors. It helps me better my fluency and, and my grades. I had like a C, but now it's like a B plus or A. One, two, real quick. When it comes to telling it like it is, the coach doesn't pull any punches. Oh, how you miss that? How you miss that? You here, one on one with me. You hear one-on-one -on -one with the tutors. You hear in a system where you can't slip through. You can't pull no, no stunts that you normally pull at school. You can't pull those stunts here. And so we just do that one-on-one -on -one and we don't let kids give up. I just keep pushing them. It took me 20 years to climb out that hole. And when I climbed out, I saw a line as far as the eye could see of kids ready to fall in the same hole. Wh what kind of man would I be to let them fall in that hole without trying to warn them? College gym used to be the place where boxing champions were born. Today. The focus has changed. The gym has a 100% graduation rate, and the champions today are going on to successful careers at some of the top universities in the country. The greatest reward for me is when I see kids walk across that stage. When you walk across the stage in graduation, I know for sure, I know for sure that you are a far better place than you would be if you were in the situation that I was in. The world is so small when you can't read. You can't do the simplest things. You can't fill out job applications. You can't order from a menu without asking somebody, what you having? Because I'm gonna have what you having, even though you don't want that. You understand what I'm saying? The world becomes so small, but with an education, the world is, is just wide open. You can do whatever you want. Cully's hoping to grow the program. Right now, there are 850 kids waiting to join the gym. We have over 850 kids on a waiting list. We wanna get some of those kids off that waiting list because 
I know for a fact that the county jail doesn't have, have a waiting list. I know for a fact that that city morgue doesn't have a waiting list. They keep those places open 24 hours. So we shouldn't have a waiting list either for any type of positive activity that a kid wants to be involved in. When I'm here, this really feels like a family because you know that they're never gonna let you down and everything, they're always gonna support you through everything. He loves us kids because he pushes us and no one pushes us more than family. They love us and they're going to push us and want us to be the best that we can be. Coach Kali, he, um, he, he, wants us, he wants us to be better in life. I think I can do it. I think we all can. Yeah.